Kai asks, do you think it's important for us, the audience, to read the book before seeing the film? Will it help us better understand the story and characters and enrich our overall experience? I definitely think it will enrich your experience if you read the novel first. That said, a film adaptation should stand on its own. You should not have to read the novel first in order for the movie to make sense to you. So let's use Orlando as an example, which is fitting given Luca's working relationship with the goddess Tilda Swinton. I read this novel by Virginia Woolf several months back. I really enjoyed it. It's very witty, a very playfully erudite novel, certainly way more accessible than To the Lighthouse, which was the only other fiction of hers that I had attempted. I loved the movie just as much as the book. Sally Potter really draws out those ultimate themes of the flexibility, the changeability of identity and gender constructs and all of those trappings and also giving up the trappings of what's past and living and loving mindfully in the present, which of course is a message we cannot receive too frequently. But there are several plot points that I might have found confusing to the point of frustration had I not read the novel first. That is definitely not going to be the case with Bones and All. Changes have been made from novel to script, but the film absolutely will stand on its own. If you've watched this far into the series, then I'm guessing that you are a big enough fan of Luca, Timmy, horror or young adult fiction that you are going to be glad that you read the novel before going to the theater, hopefully going to the theater to see this film. And like I said in the adaptation video, if you see the pencil sketch first, it gives you that additional context to be able to appreciate the masterpiece more completely. Slowly, there had opened within her something intricate and many-chambered, which one must take a torch to explore in prose, not verse.